If you Muslim and you know it, say Allah. If you Muslim and you know it, say Allah. If you Muslim and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you Muslim and you know it, say Allah. Allah. MashaAllah, you guys knew the song. Allah Akbar. SubhanAllah. How is that possible? MashaAllah. Like, are you guys ready again? A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. How do you spell Muslim? M U S L I M M U S L I M Muslim M U S L I M M U M L I L I M M You guys ready? And a one, a two, a one, two, three, say M U S L I M I'm so blessed to be with them, M-U-S-L-I-M, I'm so blessed to be with them, say M-U-S-L-I-M, I'm so blessed to be with them, say M-U-S-L-I-M, I'm so blessed to be with them, one million strong all year long, praise to Allah even in Hong Kong, one million strong all year long. Praise to Allah, even in Hong Kong, one million strong all year long. Praise to Allah, even in Hong Kong, one million strong all year long. Praise to Allah, even in Hong Kong, M-U-S-L-I-M. I'm so blessed to be with them, say M-U-S-L-I-M. I'm so blessed to be with them, M-U-S. L I M. I'm so blessed to be with them. Say M U S L L I M. I'm so blessed to be with them. Yeah, we're blessed. Take beer. Allah. Take beer. Take beer. Allahu Akbar. Mashallah. You guys. You guys are the. You guys are the best. Uh, this is a song we do with some of the young kids in our family. They say, uh, how does it go? Uh, I forgot, it's been a while. Allahumma salli ala rasulillah. Anyway, it'll come to me. It's escaping me. It ran away and hid. Aiden, what are we going to do? We have to find it. All right, here you guys, ready for the quiz? Yes. Okay, here's the quiz. You have to raise your hand to answer. You don't even know the question. <laughs> SubhanAllah. All right, here's the question. The first question is, who knows the name of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, father and mother? Okay, you give the mother. Allahu Akbar. You give the father. Allahu Akbar. Okay, who knows the name of the Prophet's uncle, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who protected him from the Quraysh and all his enemies? You know Asya. What's his name? Abu Talib. Allahu Akbar. You knew that. You knew that too, didn't you? Habibi, Allah Akbar. You're, you're Talib? <laughs> Abu Talib, he knew. Allah, congratulations. Right hand, that hand, that one, that one, that one. That one, give me that hand, boy. All right, okay, here we go. You guys ready? All right, who knows the name of the first person? Who became a Muslim? Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, you can't argue with that. I mean, you know, Allah take me or Allah All right. Let me. That's right. Subhanallah. That was like she threw me a curveball. All right. 
let me rephrase it. Who knows the first one to become a follower of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Someone who didn't answer before. I, your name. Yes, who was it? Amy, that was his mother. Aisha? No, Aisha came much later. All right, no, someone who didn't. Did you answer a question yet? You did? All right, you answered a question also. All right, who was it? Did you raise your hand up? All right, who was it? Allahu Akbar, radiallahu anha, man, you guys are, you guys are on fire, Khadija, radiallahu anha, okay, who was the Prophet's cousin, who was one of the first people to become Muslim, okay, now she didn't answer yet, no, but he was one of the first Muslims, so you get partial credit. Alhamdulillah. Did you answer a question yet? So who was it? Ali, al radiallahu anhu. Yeah. Don't say yes, yeah, say radiallahu anhu. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah, okay. You guys, uh, we got to up the game here. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? All right. Who was the sword of Allah? You guys, you guys, of course you know this young man right here. Khalid bin al Walid, Sayfullah and Masloul. Yes. And Hamza radiallahu He was the lion of Allah. <sighs> Scared the kufar. <sighs> okay, Bismillah. Okay, mashallah. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. All right. When the Prophet went from Mecca, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to Medina, what was that trip called? What was that journey called? From Mecca to Medina, it was called the. Yeah, you say it. Go ahead. You just tell him. Tell all of us. You're shy. Shyness is good. Oh, you didn't hear anything? Oh, he was telling you. So what are you guys talking? What were you, what were you discussing? All right, what was the journey called? Asya. Hijra. And Hijra. Allahu Akbar. Man, you guys are sharper than cheddar cheese. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, we're going to get a hard one now. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went from Mecca to Medina, before he built the big masjid, his masjid, Masjid and Nabawi, he built another masjid first. What was that masjid called? You know? Really? Allahu Akbar. Then you're smarter than the average bear. Yalla. It was called al Haram? al Haram, no, that was Mecca. Who knows? Yes. Masjid al Qubba. Qubba. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. How did you get so smart? I think I know. You know how you got so smart? You had a lot of smart food. But not the popcorn type. <laughs> the organic, free range, grass fed. <laughs> Cage free cornflakes. Okay. <laughs> All right, man, inshallah, you guys are really fantastic. Okay, now, you guys ready for this one? Who was the person who went with the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he made the hijrah? Oh, you guys say it all together when I tell you to. I'm going to say one, two, three, and then all of you say it since a lot of hands went up. One, two, three. (laughs) 
Is Ali or Abu Bakr? Abu Bakr. Ali was the one that slept in the bed to trick the evil kuffar of the Quraysh. He's in there sleeping and he's getting away because Ali was in the bed. But Abu Bakr was with him, radiallahu an. Okay? When Abu Bakr, radiallahu an, and the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, were hiding. This is a compound question. That means it's like two or three questions in one. Where were they hiding? And why didn't the Quraysh believe they were in the place they were hiding in? Okay. Bismillah. The cave, the cave, the cave. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Yeah. But you guys knew that also, right? Yeah. You were just shy to say it. Yeah. That was fantastic. You just have to drop the hero part. You're good to go. Allahu Akbar. Man, you guys are really, really smart. Okay. So the Prophet and Abu Bakr, they're getting away. But then one of the Quraysh, his name was Suraqa bin Malik, he caught up with them and he wanted to take them back. But then something miraculous happened and he knew it was hopeless. So, what happened when Suraqa, radiallahu anhu, because he became Muslim afterwards, caught up with the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa and he had his intention and his mind was made up to take him back. What miraculous thing happened that caused him to turn around? Yama. Mm. So um, they were at the cave, and then, and then, um, in, in case Abu Jahan or some, somebody saw the spider web, and he was like, "No, so that was the one before." That was the yeah, yeah, that was the question. You're giving the answer to the a previous question, but that's cool though. But you get half credit for answering an earlier question. Allah Akbar. <laughs> Ask you, you know. Okay, so what happened? <laughs> Allahu Akbar, the feet of the horse were sinking in the sand, so he knew that Allah didn't want him to get the Prophet. So he gave, he gave up. And then, okay, what did the Prophet say to him? That one day what's going to happen? That's a hard one. What did he say? Why are you raising your hand? Or are you scratching? You're stretching. One, two, three, four. You're doing your workout. Okay. He said to him, one day, you're going to wear the bracelets of the king of Persia. You knew that one? Yeah, okay. So you get a quarter question for answering after I answer it. But and then one day it happened. And then he put the bracelets on. He was running through the streets of Medina during the time of Omar radiallahu anhu. What did Omar say to him? He said, give the bracelets back. The Prophet said, you wear them, not have them. So he had to give them back. But he was happy. Salam what's your name, young lady? You don't have a name? What's your name? What's the name of the third Khalifa of the Abbasid state? Is that your name, not his name? She knows her name. She's shy? Yeah, she's shy. If you're shy, it's a good thing. She had to do that. Mashallah. Do you know what? Uh, you're going to tell me your name. Huh? Nuseba. 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 
if you're shy, you should be happy because the Prophet was shy, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know what the sh Prophet said about shyness? He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-imanu bil'un wa sab'un shu'aba. That faith has 70, some are branches like a big tree with a lot of branches. With me, Nusayba. He said, Al Imanu Sabran Bidran was Sabran Shuaba, like seventy something, six, five, seventy seven branches. Afdaluha, the best of them, is to say, La ilaha illallah. Can you say that? Allah, you're not shy anymore. Allah Akbar. Wa adnaha imatatul adha an al tariq. And the lowest branch is to remove the harmful thing from the path. So listen to Sable, if you're ever riding your bike and there's a bottle on the sidewalk, you stop your bike, you get off and you remove the bottle and put it on the side. But when you do it, you say, La ilaha illallah. You know why? Because if you move the bottle from the path, that's removing the harmful thing from the path. So no one goes over and loses control of their bike and falls out and skins their knees up and the palms of their hands. I've done it before. It's not pleasant. Like sand is in the palm of your hand. That rhymes. I'm a poet. You didn't know it. I had sand in the palm of my hands. <laughs> so, and then you say, La ilaha illallah, and then you join together between the, the highest and the lowest branch of faith at the same time. You say, La ilaha illallah, you remove the harmful thing from the path. Allahu Akbar. Then you know what he said after that? He said, Shyness is a branch of faith. So that means if you're shy, then you're a believer. Allahu Akbar. And Allah loves you. Allahu Akbar. So what was your name again? Nusayba. Okay, mashallah. Look at that. You're only a little bit shy now. Allahu Akbar. Everyone say, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar kabira. No, kabira. Walhamdulillah. Ka? Ka what? You said it before. Kathira. Wa subhanallahi bukratan wa asila. So in the morning and evening we say alhamdulillah. So now you know what we're going to do now? We're going to do dhikr. You know what dhikr is? We say la ilaha illallah a lot. And it makes our hearts feel so good. So good, Nusayba. You guys are ready? A one, a two. <clears throat> a one, a two. A one, two, three, go. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah 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 Muhammad Rasulullah La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Allah. Right, now we're gonna mix it up. So I'll say the words and then you guys say La Muhammad Rasulullah. 
Are you ready? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I know one, a two, a one, two, three, go. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله قد أتانا في الأخبار عن النبي المختار أن أفضل الأذكار لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله جمعت معنى التوحيد ودلت بلا مزيد كرر أيها المريد لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله هي حسنك الحصين هي درعك المتين ذكر رب العالمين لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله هي أروة الوثقى لا تنذاكروها يا إخوان نوروا بها الجنان إن مفتاح الجنان لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله لازموها بالأسحار والعشي والإذكار لا تنال الفارقا لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه الصلاة الله خير الخلق عند الله صاحب العز والجاء قاتم رسل الإله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه الصلاة والله تكبير الله أكبر الله أكبر كبيرة والحمد لله كثيرة كثيرة وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلة الله أكبر الله كثيرة الله أكبر اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سبحان الله يا جوري يا جوري 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 Yes. Are you really, really ready? Yes. yes. Oh, I mean, positively ready? Yes. yes. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Kabira. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Bismillah. Yes. 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 Salatullah, salamullah, ala taha rasulillah. Salatullah, salamullah, ala yasin habibillah. I envy the sand that met his feet. I'm jealous of honey he tasted sweet. Of birds that hug, of spiders that spun their sacred web to save him from his enemies. I envy the clouds that form from the seas. I envy the sightless trees that gave. They gave what? 
I envy the sight, there's trees that cave. I forgot. You guys forgot too? I don't even know oh. the song. Well, you were singing it. Salatullah, <laughs> salamullah, ala taha rasulillah. Salatullah, salamullah, ala yasin Habibillah. Allahu Akbar. You guys ready? Yes. Inna fil jannati naran min laban. Inna fil jannati naran min laban. Inna fil jannati naran min laban. Inna fil jannati Run min laban, inna fil jannatina, run min laban, li aliyan wa husaynan wa hasan, li aliyan wa husaynan wa hasan, la ilaha illa Allah, 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 Muhammad Rasulullah ya Mawlana Muhammad Rasulullah ya Mawlana Are right, you guys ready? A one, a two, one, two, three, go. Inna fil jannatina ran min laban Inna fil jannatina ran min laban Li aliyan wa husaynan wa hasan Li aliyan wa husaynan wa hasan La ilaha illa Allah, Allah, Allah La ilaha illa Allah La jood alayna La ilaha illa Allah jood alayna Kullu man kana muhibban lahumu 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 Kullu man kana muhibban Ben lahumu yadkhulul jannata min ghayri hazan yadkhulul jannata min ghayri hazan you guys ready yeah. a one a two a one two three go kullu man kana muhibban lahumu kullu man kana muhib Ban lahumu yadkhulul jannata min ghayri hazan yadkhulul jannata min ghayri hazan la ilaha illa allah 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 la ilaha illa allah jud alayna la ilaha illa allah jud alayna Allahu Akbar. You guys are getting tired? Getting sleepy? You're not? Yes, you are? Alright, we're going to do one more thing. Are you guys ready? We're ready, ready, ready. Okay. So first we're going to make more thicker. We're going to make a thicker like this. We're going to make salawat. Salawat like this. Allahumma salli wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma Repeat after me Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa alihi Wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam 
Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidin Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma Salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ve Ali ve sellem. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وسلم. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم. السلام عليكم يا أمان. السلام عليكم. السلام عليكم. What's your name, young man? Yusuf. Yusuf. Say السلام عليكم to everybody. السلام عليكم. وعليكم السلام. السلام عليكم. Yusuf. How old are you? Um, five and a half. Five and a half. Allah Akbar. And do you like school? Yeah. You homeschool, or you go to kindergarten? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Did they teach you in the kindergarten that the bees are disappearing? No. You ever hear the bees? No. I'm teaching you not. The bees are disappearing because a lot of problems. But uh, Yusuf, right? Yusuf, you're making the bees disappear too. Did you know that? Yeah, well, I'm telling you, you're making the bees disappear. You know why? Why? Because you only get A's. Allah Akbar. And what's that? Tuvarakallah. He's making the bees disappear because he only get A's. He doesn't get any bees, so the bees are disappearing. Oh, yeah. All right. That's like a Seed Abdul Hakim Murad joke. It's so sophisticated, you get it next week. You're like eating dinner and... A <laughs> Subhanallah. And everyone thinks you went crazy. Like, yeah, last week, Seed Abdul Hakim told this joke, and I just, it just dawned on me what he was talking about. Allahu Akbar. Right, you guys have been great. So, I have to wrap it up. And say goodbye to all my new friends. But we'll meet again, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. You got, who knows any poetry? You guys got to tell your parents to get you the, the poetry program. It starts with the little poems, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So as you go through your first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, you learn a lot of poems. Do you want to hear a poem? Robert Frost, stopping by the woods on a snowy evening. You guys ready? Whose woods these are, so you think of woods. I think I know, his house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near, between the woods and, and frozen lake, the longest evening of the year. He gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flakes. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. 
but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Miles to go before I sleep. On that note, so then you get bigger and bigger plums to get Casey at the bat. Casey, mighty Casey. The outlook was quite gloomy for the Mudville nine that day. The score stood four to two with but one inning left to play. That's the beginning. And then they want Casey to come to the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, as did Jimmy Blake. The first one was a Lulu and the second was a cake. But when Flynn let fly a single, much to the wonderment of all, and Blake the most despised it for the cover off the ball. <laughs> huh? That's that's the actual poem. Casey at the bat. Right? Then yeah, then he struck out at the end. Somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. bright. Somewhere the bands are playing, and somewhere hearts are light. Somewhere. The children play, and somewhere, somewhere people shout, but there is no joy in Mudville, for mighty Casey has struck out. Whoosh. He missed the wall. How about the Jabberwocky? You guys know what nonsense is? There's something you have to avoid at all costs, except when you read the Jabberwocky was brillig and the slithy toves did the ryrel and gimble in the wave all mimsy were the borogoves in the mome rafts out grave beware the bander snatch my son the claws that scratch the cause that the, the jaws that catch beware the jup jup bird and shun the fumious bander snatch and then so uh, he took his vorpal blade in hand, long, long time the mansome foe he sought. Then rested he by the tum-tum tree and stood a while in thought. And then he got the Jabberwocky. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead and with his head he came galoofing back. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, fraptious day, colloy colloy, he chortled in his joy. Was brillig in the slidy toves, did gyrol and gimble in the wave. Or oh, mimsy were the borogoves, and the mome rafts out grave. That, my friends, is total nonsense. So since we engaged in nonsense, we have to make a little more thicker to get our hearts right. You guys ready? Bismillah ar-Rahim. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah al-Azim. 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 Subhanallah wa Subhanallah 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 now you guys, we have to do one more thing since we're engaged in nonsense. We have to memorize a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the first one who memorizes it gets a prize. Nusayba. You want to get the prize? Inshallah. Here we go. Kala 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 Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alright 
Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam You guys say that. Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ad-dunya 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 Sijnul mu'min Sijnul mu'min Sijnul mu'min Ad-dunya Sijnul mu'min Ad-dunya Sijnul mu'min Ad-dunya Sijnul mu'min Musaibu, can you say that? Ad-dunya sijnul mu'min Ad-dunya sijnul mu'min Ad-dunya Sijnul mu'min Sijnul mu'min Ad-dunya sijnul mu'min الدنيا سجن المؤمن خديجة خديجة الدنيا الدنيا سجن المؤمن from the top قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر وجنة الكافر وجنة الكافر وجنة الكافر وجنة الكافر وجنة الكافر وَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ يوسف come here come here come here come here come here وَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ وَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ كَافِيَ وَجَنَّةُ الْوَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ كَافِيَ 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 الدُّنْيَا الدُّنْيَا سِجْنُ الْمُؤْمِنِ سِجْنُ الْمُؤْمِنِ وَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ I know together, guys. Ad dunya sijnul mu'min wa jannatul kafir. 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 قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر one last time with the practice then it's gonna get real up in here. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر. Who's going to say it by themselves from top to the bottom? Her hand went up first. No lie. No startle. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر. الله أكبر. Who else is gonna do it? Here, the microphone to ask you right here. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجد المؤمن جنات المؤمن الله أكبر give the what's your name fighting Irish مشتبه مشتبه قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم الدنيا سجد المؤمن وجنة الآخر وجنة الكافر وجنة الكافر Hey, hey, no, no, great job, مجتبى Who else gonna go? You gonna go? Why are you laughing? No, you're not laughing, no, no, you're crying Who else gonna go? Raise your hand الدنيا سجن المؤمن وجنة الكافر You need one more, one more Right here Oh, we got two, we got three Go ahead. Take the mic, Khalid. Call the Rasulullah. Do your scholarly voice. Call the Rasulullah. Call the Rasulullah. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The world is a dream.
Ve cennetun. Ve cennetir kafir. Allahu Ekber. Gördü. Eyde. Yallah. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجل المؤمن وجنة الكافر يحيى الدنيا سجل المؤمن ونعم قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجل المؤمن وجنة الكافر قال Resulullahi Sallallahu Sallallahu Aleyhi Ve sellem Ad-dunya Ad-dunya sajjid mu'min Ve cennetul Ve cennetul Kafir Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Kale Kale Resulullahi Sallallahu صلى الله عليه وسلم الدنيا سجد المؤمن وجنة الكافر تكبير 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 you know what that means it means the prophet the messenger of Allah peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said the, the world is a prison for the believer and paradise for the disbeliever. Why would the world be a prison for the believers? What happens when you're in prison? Can you do anything you want, anytime you want when you're in prison? No, you have to wake up when the warden, the warden is the one who controls the whole prison. You have to wake up when the warden says to wake up. You have to eat when the warden says eat. You have to eat what they say. You want to eat a nice, Biryani with samosas, yeah, and and some some kabuli on the side, but they give you beans and rice, because that's what the warden said you gotta eat. So the believer in the world doesn't do what he or she wants when they want, anytime they want. We have to do what Allah says we do, when He says to do it, like Ramadan. Allah says. You can eat until the day breaks, the crack of dawn. When you start to see the light of the sun in the sky, a little bit, then you can't eat anymore. So Allah is the warden, and the dunya is the prison, and we're the prisoners. And if you don't believe in Allah, you do whatever you want. So it's like you're in Jannah. But when the next life, those who thought they were in heaven are going to be in the other place. What's the other place called? Jahannam. Jahannam. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be in Jahannam. It's not going to be a good day. It's not going to be a good day. For those who rejected faith and thought they were in Jannah in the world, it's going to be a difficult, hard day. And that's why it's a prison for the believers. What's your name, young lady? What's your name? Yeah. Halima. Halima. What do you want to say to everyone to give them advice? You know something. You know how much wood could wood chuck chuck and wood chuck could chuck wood? You don't know how much wood wood chuck could chuck and wood chuck could chuck wood? I know. You know how much? Wood chuck could chuck a lot of wood if wood chuck could chuck wood. <laughs> so Halima, what's your favorite subject in school? You don't know much about the Middle Ages? You look at the pictures and turn the pages. <laughs> math? You, you like math? All right, what's the square root of pi? The square root of pi is apple, <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> Math is the though. Give us uh, how much is eleven times eleven? <laughs> yeah, how much? One hundred. No, one, not one hundred ten. Oh, one hundred and twenty-one. Allahu Akbar. You're smarter than the average bear. 
I, what's 12 times 12? Wait, Halima, then, Halima. She likes math. That's an easy one. I was all right. Twelve times twelve. How much is two times two? I don't know. Think about two. And math is your favorite subject. Yeah, but we're gonna do it like we're gonna break it down to its constituent elements. So you have the twelve and the twelve. So at twelve and twelve, how many twos do you have? No. Twelve, two twelves. So you do the two times two twice. How much is two times two? And how much is two times two a second time? You do it again. Like two times two once is four. Two times two another time is oh, this six. Wait, let me, let me, I'm asking wrong. No, no. How much is two times two? Four. Four. Uh, that's one time. How much is two times two? Four. Four. How much is one times one? One. one. And what's the one and the two fours? Four. Listen to this young man. Listen to Yahya. Uh, how much is two times two? Two times two is four. How much is two times two? Four. How much is one times one? Because you got the the one, and and so what is the the result of the two times two once and two times two twice and one times one? You said it before. Oh, two. Wait, no. Wait, you said the first time. How much is twelve times twelve? Twelve times twelve, one forty-four. All right. So two times two is four. Two times two is four. One times one is one. One hundred forty-four. Oh, I didn't get you. You know what I mean now? Yeah, now. You got it? <laughs> yeah, All right, so, so before I go, <coughs> everyone has to be quiet because I'm going to give you guys. All right, you got it, you got it. We believe you, believe you, believe you. You got it. Right. Yeah. All of your wonderful poems and memorizing hadith and making a little thicker, you guys all get an award. Do you know what the award, award is called? The award is called the prestigious. Scarecrow Award. The prestigious Scarecrow Award. I'm going to tell you right now. You know why all of you are well deserving of the prestigious Scarecrow Award? This is why. Like this Scarecrow, each and every one of you is outstanding in your field. On that note, I bid you good night. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. The parents will explain to you later. Don't they'll break it down for you. الفاتحة بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. I don't hear you guys. No say, but I don't hear you. فاتحة a one a two one two three. أعوذ بالله have a wonderful night you guys are gonna sleep here in the masjid no she like Halima said yes Halima is the boss you gotta listen to her you know there was once a lady she could see like three days out into the desert she had good eyesight so they listen so you have to listen to Halima you know what her name was her name was Hadami. Hadami. And she looked out in the desert and she saw three days ahead. 
she said there's a, a, a little army they're coming towards the village get ready and they looked out they didn't see anything and then the next day she looked out and she said they're getting closer get ready and they looked out they didn't see anything and then she said they're one day away get ready they're gonna destroy our village and they looked out they didn't see anything then the next day they came and they wrecked the village and they took all the camels and sheep away they wrecked the village and so the poet wrote a poem about Hadami you know what the poet said the poet said لَوْلَا الْمُزْعِجَاتُ مِنَ الْلَيَالِ مَا تَرَكَ قَطَعَ طَيْبَ الْمَنَامِ إِذَا قَالَ الْحَذَامِ فَصَدِّقُوهَا فَإِنَّ الْقَوْلَ مَا قَالَ الْحَذَامِ That if it wasn't for some disturbance in the night, the little birdie would have not left the sweetness of sleep. If Hadami says something, you better believe her. For verily the word of truth is that spoken by Hadami. You know why I said that poem? So I can say this. إذا قال الحليمة فصدقوها فإن القول ما قالت حليمة. So if Halima tells you to do something, you better do it. Because the word of truth is that spoken by Halima. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.